I am Alisa Arabar, Advocacy and Legal Leads of the European Network of Migrant Women. We are a platform gathering 50 member organizations in 23 European Union member states. Um, so our members are grassroots service providers working on the ground with migrant women and girls. And our work is mostly dedicated to supporting them and to amplifying their voices at the level of the EU institutions. So in the context of the European Parliament 2024 elections, we call for candidates to take a strong stand for women's rights and migrant women's rights in Europe because the stakes are many. Uh, for instance, we call for a feminist economic policy where uh, women's independence is guaranteed and where all contribution that is often invisible to the care sector is fully recognized. We also need strong social protection for domestic workers in Europe who are in vast majority migrant women because right now they are suffering gross human rights violations, especially in the Mediterranean region where they are numerous, because of lack of protection at the European Union level. Uh, the European Union is also a key actor when it comes to tackling violence against women and girls, uh, especially um, reproductive and uh, sexual exploitation, notably in surrogacy, prostitution and pornography, because there is uh, important cross-border elements to these crimes that can only be effectively tackled through cooperation facilitated by the European Union. So we need also a strong stance of the European Parliament election candidates on these issues. Um, regarding the war against Ukraine, unfortunately, once again, we have uh, been really aware of the disproportionate impact on women and girls and the targeting of women and girls by, by pimps and traffickers. So this makes us all the more aware of the need to include women voices in peace building, as well as the green and digital transition if we don't want to enhance a pervasive existing inequalities between women and men. For this, we need women voices to be heard. So we need women and feminist candidates for the European Parliament election. Right now, in the European Parliament, we have only one third of members who are women. After the 2019 European Parliament election, we had only 17 women from ethnic minority backgrounds who were elected. This is not enough for true meaningful representation of everyone's interest at the European Union level. So we are calling for a true understanding of the stakes regarding women's rights at the European level and for candidates to truly and meaningfully commit uh, to our rights at the EU level. Thank you very much.